Okay, you guys. Hello, here we are. A holiday gift guide video. I am so excited to do this. Get a little peek of some of the decorating that I've started around the house. Although I feel like it is mostly done, I've done it totally different than I've done it any other year. I did not buy anything new this year. The tree we did get at the end of um, last season when I always hit like the 60% off like Balsam Hill. You guys, if you know, you know. Don't ever, I don't care what kind of sale it is by a Christmas tree this time of year. Um, or maybe from certain places, but if you want a Balsam Hill Christmas tree, the only time you're going to be able to get it is really like, well, I'm speaking for myself, without feeling shameful and completely ridiculous because they're so expensive, but they are the best Christmas trees, you guys, um, is, is after Christmas. Brad always jokes the last three years that a Christmas tree st shows up on our doorstep on New Year, you know, just is what it is. But anyways, you guys, we are going to do a huge video of a holiday home tour, very thorough, showing everything in the next couple weeks. So that's going to be really fun. But today, you guys, I really wanted to do a real, a real holiday gift guide. We are inundated with all of the screenshots of the, you know, things that people haven't bought. Here's you know, let me just collage some things on that, which is totally fine. Um, I really like to do those things for things that I've just actually bought, you know, um, which is fine. People do that too. My point is we are just inundated with little sub collections of, well, this is from this store, so I'm promoting that by this. This is from that store, I'm promoting that by this. I love to do specific gift guide videos based on certain stores because of sales, obviously. I want you guys to get the best deals um, based on certain categories. Next week we're going to have one that is all beauty and you do not want to miss that. Um, but you guys, I really wanted to do this one that was so real of things that are amazing, things that are unique, not just things that I'm promoting because they're from a store that's on sale, but all of these are great. All of these are great prices. And um, before we get started, I do want to mention this because um, I have... This, this room is always kind of like my gift wrap station, I feel. I remember growing up, I went to this friend's house who, I really thought their house was like the bougiest thing on the planet, right? And upstairs, they had this room that was kind of like a utility closet, but it was maybe the size of like an average, well, larger than average, like, you know, laundry room. It just had like some wire, like builder shelves on it. And this was her gift wrap room, okay? I've dreamt about that room. Sure, I could turn something into that, but I'm just like, yeah, I really want. So what I did upstairs, like in our little landing, um, upstairs in our in our house, like in the hallway, I had like this big chest, and I put a bunch of gift wrap in there, and then I'm like, well, if I ever wanted to wrap something, I could just spread out, you know. But around the holidays, this room is kind of where it happens, and. I don't know if you can see, I have, I have a gift wrap, uh, one of those flat things under there that I just keep my holiday stuff in. Um, so if I get something, I can, you know, wrap it. And, um, but, you know, the last couple years I've really been simple with, the, with gift wrap. Very simple in that, like, I buy it around this time of year. Last year I went for the all red ones and I ordered those bags from Target. And it's this, like, I think it's called Sugar Paper, but it's this brand at Target. And I buy so many of these every year. They're nice just to have if you just want to have, like, some. I fully have some that are empty that you can just put under a tree. You just to sit around. But I do use these, and I am going to use these this year. And I actually have some new ones. I really hope that they have, well, new ones from last year. I really hope that they have these this year. This is one thing, obviously, I need my gift wrap for the year. But there's years where I just go white and you know my vibe is a little not different because my stuff's the same but I really kind of went vintagey and the family room you're gonna be surprised it's very tensely very metallic very kind of old school lots of our old ornaments here and like ones that are kind of vintage and things that I've had and things since I was a kid family stuff but um I will say you know I do like sort of a it, it does make the tree look really beautiful if you kind of curate your gift wrap which I know sounds like Meh. but it's not hard I don't want to sit and wrap with paper just buy some nice gift bags buy some nice boxes and I just think this collection that they've done for the last I want to say like 10 years at Target I feel like those beautiful gift bags that are very like monochromatic buy this sugar paper is that what it's called sugar paper these gift boxes it's it's a set of three for ten dollars basically that set that I showed you the whites ten dollars they're very nice 
and well made. So I've got a lot of red ones. These were left, left over from last year, but I haven't really quite decided. I do have some like metallic paper and let me just mix up the white and the red, but I will link to those because I think that's very important. Okay, you guys, we got to jump in. So um, I have so many different things. As I said, beauty stuff's going to come up next time, um, but I do want to start. Um, I'll link what I'm wearing, but I want to start by sharing the jewelry that I, I did I start it maybe, I don't know if I just got into it this year. I want to say it maybe, no, it was year before last, I believe, because I remember, whatever, I remember like getting something for a certain thing. I mean, the amount of hoops that y'all have bought from, like, it's insane how nuts y'all have gone over these hoops. Um, they're the ones that I originally saw Khloe Kardashian wearing these. These are called the big ass hoops come in all different sizes, and then Kris Jenner wears these a lot, J-Lo, all the Kardashians wear these, and it's affordable jewelry, but it's well made, and everything she does is so nice, and then I follow her on Instagram, and it seems like it's a very buzzed about, like, brand that celebrities love, if you like that kind of thing, but nothing is better she does her hoops so well so i would definitely recommend these the amount of people I, I can't even give these as gifts anymore for christmas because i've given them to everyone all my friends for their birthdays family members actually no i don't think my mom has a pair of these so that would be nice um these are the four inch okay just to give you an idea let's back up Y'all have seen all the other ones except for these. These are the ones, so these are big ass hoops. These are called the badass hoops. Now the badass hoops have a little bit of like a, they have like a pave stone and then it kind of like goes, you know, like from the inside of the back. These are the two inch, okay? These are such a good size if maybe you're like not so big on the big hoops, which I wasn't, but now I'm like, oh my gosh, can't go back. Nothing better than just rolling out of bed, put your hair in a ponytail, put on a sweatshirt, put on some hoops. You look like together. But these are so beautiful. They look like fine jewelry. But um, these would make an amazing gift. And I brought in some of the packaging. They they come in the most beautiful, like, lilac color. Um, the, the gift boxes are just absolutely beautiful. All of her branding. I really, really love her brand. And I've gotten, you know, all the necklaces from there over the years. The ones that are the stones. This is a new one that I just got. I love that. And then this was a free gift. She's always doing like some kind of little freebie. And this little star was, for, I, I love how it just sits right there. And I believe you can buy that all the time. But this ring that I wear all the time is, is by her. It's just an amazing brand. I love Melinda Maria and I will link to that. But these are very good, okay? These are new. These are wearable, whatever. Two inch, okay? And I will link as we go so you guys are, are not confused. Um, the badass hoops, these are the ones, or no, shoot, okay. Maybe not even, let me not even say that. Well, they're called big ass hoops, but I have these in gold and in silver in pretty much every size, but these are the ones I wear the most, the most. These are the three inch big ass hoops. And you see they're, they're very thin. They feel like you're wearing nothing. They have little, um, like diamonds or, you know, di she calls them diamondettes. We went to a nice jewelry store recently and the amount of like lab grown diamonds, which I'm all for that, but I'm saying that's what a lot of things are going to and they are so expensive like places are charging a lot for them which is nuts but she does really really beautiful diamond diamond nets okay but anyways the the three inch these are the two inch okay the three inch are a good size that look a little bit on the larger side okay then you get into the four inch okay now the four and i have the three inch you know, like i said in silver and different things um the four inch get a little bigger okay and these are a little a little larger now there's a size because these are good too four inch um, and then these my friend gave me for my birthday and I absolutely love them these are the diamond cut hoops they're very thick but they are light as air because they're hollow and these are the um four inch I keep having to hold them up so oh my gosh Tiffany I'm getting confused four inch okay those are pretty but I kind of lost my mind now these are the are they the five inch? I don't know. These are the biggest version of the badass hoops. So you can kind of see like the pave stone a little better on these. These are kind of borderline ridiculous. Kyle Richards was wearing these exact ones in like a confessional on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And I thought, oh, perfect. And they are very large and in charge. But here's what. Any woman on your list, any one on your list that loves hoops, let me tell you, 
it's the way to go, okay? And then pick up like a little, you know, necklace here or there. They have beautiful, beautiful things. Explore that website, okay? Really quickly, I want to show you these. I got these during our beach trip. I showed you guys on Instagram. I was like, should I buy these? And I, you know, I was like, of course. Um, now, I haven't really been into designer things so much. Like, I'm not lusting after bags, not like super impressed by like, oh, let me just get these or that. I always like to buy a pair of glasses when I go to the beach. And um, I wasn't really impressed by anything, but I saw these and I was like, okay. I haven't had a pair of these that are a little smaller looking. Although I should bust out some of my like old ones from the 2000s because I feel like this is kind of a throwback. But I got these new Prada Sunnies. They had just put them out that day. I don't know if you can see, but you can see Prada like etched in the front. They are so dang cool. They come in black too. Now they're a very harsh shape. So normally I would go for black. The black looked very harsh. The tortoise, I feel is what you want. Even like the woman at the store kind of said the same thing. I just put them on and I, first of all, they're so comfortable. I love Prada sunglasses, but I just want to show you guys these because I love them. And um, if you're looking for a treat for yourself, it's kind of the theme for this, you know, treat yourself. There's so many times, you know, uh, you know, I hear people that, oh, I buy things, I wrap them up for myself. I'm kind of like, and I've probably done that too, but it is fun. It's really fun. So if you want to find something extra for yourself, okay, um, let's get into it, you guys. I have a few kitchen things, but before I, I want to go ahead and share these. The Skims PJs. I am, okay, a couple years ago, I got rid of all my underwear. And I kind of slowly like converted them all to the they're the skims. Fits it's called fits everybody. I believe that's what it's called. The thongs, the briefs, the, anything by that. It's just they're incredibly soft, incredibly comfortable. The bras, any of those comfy bras, but the PJs are amazing. And I believe oh, these smell so good. Do you guys use those little scent boosters? Well, when Olivia was really little, I would use that Drift, a baby, right? I would use the Drift, you know, detergent. I love the drift scent beads, so all of our clothes smell like, we smell like babies, but I'm telling you, nothing better. The drift scent beads, okay? Thank me later. Merry Christmas. So, these are so incredible. I have the ones that are, like, smoother, that just feel kind of like the modalic buttery. I don't know the word for it. Those are amazing. But, you guys, this is what you want. I usually, my whole, I would never sleep in pants. Couldn't sleep in pants. I don't care if it was a cute stuff. And things that are, like, made, like, um, this. I always, what was that show? Or it was with Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy where she was, like, okay, like, I didn't know you wore a tuxedo to bed. All of these, like, button-down things that are so cute. When I get in bed, I'm just, like, ugh, ugh, you know, like, I can't move. I wore these in the summer. They're cool. I'm wearing them like now when it's cold. This is what you want, and this is what you want to get people on your list. They come beautifully packaged. They're skims. It's kind of like a ooh. I have them in all of like the flesh toned basic colors, like the, you know, like I have like the, there's like a dark, like I have a color that's called like I think mocha in it. That's so beautiful. I have more of like an olivey color, a tan, um, a golden color, like a new, I'm telling you, I had one pair of these and I wore them every single night and I would have to keep washing them like every few nights. And finally I was just like, no. And the pink is just so fun. So, um, I will link to these. Oh my gosh. I just absolutely love those. I believe they have a lot of new stuff right now for the holidays. Nothing's better than those draft scent beads. And when I don't use them and I pull something out of my closet or something folded or something, I don't use them just for our child. I'm using them for all of us, okay? Our sheets, ooh, 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 baby. Nothing better than washing your sheets with those draft scent boosters, okay? Anywho, get the skims. You're going to thank me later. If you guys are noticing this, okay, my sound bowl. I brought this down from my bedroom. Our bedroom is a very calm space. I've got my table with my candles, pretty crystals. I've got like, you know, and I bought this sound bowl several months ago. And I love it. Now these are hard to find. They're good. This is a quartz sound bowl. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. And there's, they're hard to find for good prices. They're hard to find that look good because some of them come with the black ring. I would say a good 90% of them you find are gonna come with a black ring. I will link to the ones that you want. Um, and this one comes with a cute mallet. So they have different notes, right? This one's an F. I have a set that I'm gonna show you. Let's go ahead and show you. But if you did want to get Oh my gosh, I'm going to fall out of this chair. You don't have to, like, search the internet like I did. And, like, because I didn't know if these were going to be good when I got them. Um, this is a good set of three. 
and I Santa Claus these for myself fully. I'm like, I'm going to wrap these up the same because I wanted to kind of stagger them in, in, on this table in our bedroom, and it's different notes. The F or whatever is like your heart chakra. Okay, I don't know. You guys, I'm not like all no knowledgeable about that. But I just know they make me feel good and they're beautiful and they kind of look like those beautiful like alabaster bowls. It, they're called singing bowls, okay? So it's just a nice vibe. If you're into candles, if you're into anything, if you're into making your house look pretty, decorating, whatever, why not buy a sound bowl? Bang it. It sounds real good. Livy's like, let's dong it. Like she calls it like, let's dong the sound bowl. Um, and then you kind of like, like that. You kind of like... Okay, um, anyways, it comes with a nice little donger, <laughs> okay, and then this is, this is the one that I get. Now, I believe they have this brand a lot of different places, you know, like you find things all throughout Amazon, Wayfair, anywhere, you know, that sells like third-party things or brands, and, um, they had many different iterations of these, you know, like maybe a set of three, a set of four, a set of two, a set of two of the same, a set of one. This is a set of three that are all different and staggering sizes. Um, obviously, I haven't opened it yet because I'm trying to save it for Christmas. I don't know. But I'll link to this exact set, and I'll link to this little one, which I think was a good one to start with. But um, like I said, they're beautiful just on their own. Um, our dining room table is constantly crafts and puzzles. So I don't have it, like, decorated and nice most of the time. But to have those bowls stagger just on a table, on your coffee table... I'm kind of liking it here. I moved it here just for the video, but I might keep this one here and put the three upstairs. I don't know, but um, kind of a nice thing to have. And here's what. My biggest thing, I like to buy stuff, which I should have said this at the beginning, that people don't have that are unusual, not just for the sake of getting some like weird ass gift, but to give someone something that's truly unique. Who's not going to like that? They're beautiful. And you know what? Even if someone, like, Brad was very resistant at first. He was like, oh, like, what is this? And I was like, just shut up and listen to it. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'm like, just listen to it. And now, like, I'll catch him, like, doing it. Okay. People are going to like it. They're beautiful. And I just think it's such a cool thing. Like, I'd be so into that. The pajamas. Who's going to say no to pajamas? And candles. I always kind of joke with my friend. I'm like, I, I don't care if it's the same candle. You'll never, a candle is never something that I'm going to say, I already have that. Because you burn through candles. So, um, we talked about the one during the Sephora sale video that sold out, and I would say this is one that I'm enjoying too. Talked about this last year, but truly I think maybe this has surpassed like leaves and even like any of my pine candles as being the best all-time holiday candle. It is the Nest Autumn Plum. They are very hard to find at certain points of the year. Right now, I just actually ordered a larger one, and I ordered the three diffuser. Now, Autumn Plum, okay, this is like, you think, oh, it's like a fall scent, and it's beautiful. When you light it, ooh, baby, it's so pretty. Let me light it so you guys can see. Um, it's so pretty. These swivelly chairs. Brad always says I'm trying to booby trap him because I got these, like, swivelly chairs. I got, like, all this, like, clear furniture. It's, it's just funny. He's like, are you trying to kill me? Um, okay, so, oh, this would be a nice. The amount of people that comment on this. When they see it, I always leave it like laying on this table. It's a brass little, that would be such a good, oh, it's got some, it's got some debris on it. That'd be such a good gift. But I use that for, oh, now it's got wax all over it. I use it for candles and all kinds of stuff, but um, he's not going to like that. Look how pretty it is. It's just pretty and it's vibey and it's beautiful, but Autumn Plum, okay, has a hint of like, it's sweet, a little plummy, cinnamon. A little smoky. It's not just because I just lit the wick. No. Read about this candle. Read about the notes of it. Oh, great. And I've been burning it during the fall. And I've kind of made like the after Halloween switch of all my decorating and stuff. And I've fully put out like, you know, all the fall candles gone. You know, now it's like Christmas and, you know, cinnamon and pine and all, all those good things. And I had this lit in the kitchen the other day because, you know, I don't have much left of it, but I thought, oh, I just love that candle anyways. And it was like wafting up in the ups. It's t not tiny, but this is a small-ish candle and it was smelling up my whole house. Sometimes you've got like your period diffusers, different candles going and you're like, what is really, what am I smelling? Nothing else was on but this. And it was the coziest, 
cinnamony holiday sweet scent. You guys, this is the perfect Christmas candle. Because I don't really like, you know how Bath and Body Works does like the cranberry woods or what is it called? Frosted cranberry. You know, that has a hint of like a sweetness, but I'm never really into that. You know, I don't want to smell something that's just straight cranberry. I want something that has like layers. That one has, oh, it's, it's just beautiful. Beautiful and yummy and anyone would like it. Um, these, okay, um, I should save these, I guess, for my beauty thing, but I got these in my, um, my last Sephora order when, you know, they were doing the sale or whatever. Guys, do not miss next week's video. Okay, you're gonna die. Like, I am, it's, it's something familiar, it's something fun, it's a company that you guys love where we can get, get all of our favorites. Next week, you guys, do not miss the beauty iteration of this, um, whole gift guide. Okay. But these, I use these every day, even in my hair right now, the smaller slip scrunchies, this is all that I use. And then I have not had a pack of the big ones. I don't know what happened to mine. I feel like I just like have one and it's kind of like old and really stretched out, but I really love those the slip, slip scrunchies. We'll get into some books. Okay, you guys, so this, this brand is really like tickling my fancy. You know, you guys know a couple years ago, um, was the first time Wow, the wind is crazy. That I did the, uh, that I talked about the beautiful kitchenware by Drew Barrymore when it first came out. I think when it first launched, I was doing a Walmart video. I thought, oh, that looks interesting. And I think I bought the, I bought the Dutch oven. I just made my carrot leek stew, not the other soup the other day. So whatever. Love that. Ended up buying with the kitchen knives, the slow cooker, which they've, I love that slow cooker. I have the first, like, version of it. They've recently improved it to where it has like a more like digital front, but that's the best slow cooker, slow cooker I've ever had. They are beautiful. It's called beautiful, but it's honestly the most beautiful kitchen appliances you've ever seen. Okay, so um, before I show this, because these are actual gifts that I'm going to give to family members. So I really hope they're not lunch or whatever. Yay, Merry Christmas. I have this in white. Um, most of my things are in white. But the colors that her products come in are beautiful. This is the sage green, which I think is just absolutely beautiful. Wait till you see, like, the sesame. Look at the black version with the black and the gold, because it's like gold accents. So it's very, like, modern, beautiful. And I think she just released a color called, like, Merlot, like a burgundy deep for the holidays. But you can't go wrong with the white. The white is my favorite. I think it's called, like, white frosting or something. Anywho... Buying gadgets and um, kitchen gadgets for people over the holidays is tricky because most people you know, most people you know that will appreciate like a kitchen appliance or a gadget probably has most everything anyways. But, like a good griddle, I never had one. Um, I just had never had one. And, and we make steaks on ours. I have the white one in our kitchen that it's like restaurant. Like, I don't know. It just sears so beautifully. We've made breakfasts on here. You've got like something going on this side. You got your bacon and all kinds of stuff. Just a good griddle. So nice. And it's funny because it's something that a lot of people don't have. But anyways, this is a great one. So got it in green. And then the uh, oh, I got two of the sage green ones. Now I bought three of these. One for myself. This is mine um, in the white. And then I bought a sage green. For someone else, and then this cornflower blue. Um, I think this is gonna be so beautiful for the person that I'm getting it for. But look at the colors, the colors are just pretty. So, this is an odd, 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 very am I flashing the world? Very like, don't answer that, giftable thing, okay? So, this is the five in one expandable skillet. So, it okay. Like I said, I got the white icing, her branding, her, I just love Drew Barrymore so much. Um, okay, so it says you can saute, steam, simmer, slow cook, buffet serve, and more. So I thought, how cool would this be like for the holidays? Put something warm in it, you can make like a dip in it, like a buffet, you know, keep it warm, whatever. Um, but then you also like make things in it, like it says a steam, saute, whatever. I just thought it was really cool. So I think that a lot of people could really appreciate this. I, as someone that's have a, you know, have a nice, I have a nice kitchen, I have all the appliances and all the things, but this would be an amazing gift too for someone that's just starting out or that might even be just like in a small situation, like whether they're in college or they're just in a tiny, 
you know, apartment or somewhere where they may not have a lot of like cooking space or they may not have like, you know, a nice stove or whatever. You can make anything in this. So, oh my gosh, I love that. And I'm just, I'm, I cannot wait to use that. Okay, so any of the beautiful kitchen stuff, I would definitely recommend. Okay, let's get into a few more things. I always get caught up with these videos because I go through and I'm like, oh, I just love this. Let me just link to anything and everything that I like. Um, I really just wanted to narrow it down and just give you guys some good ideas. And um, in the podcast, this and any of this stuff too would be great. Like for men, I do believe Skims has like men's stuff too, but um, like the PJs like that, that would be... That's a really nice like, material, but just from the sound bowls to the candles to, I'm going to give some book recs, um, the kitchen stuff. But you know, with men and stuff, I hate to say sometimes it's hard, and I see the men gift guides, and it's always the same flippity, flippin' thing, okay? Um, typical. I hate to say that, but I don't want to just say, this cologne, this beard wash, this shirt, this these slippers, good stuff, but it, follow our podcast this week. It's going to be like a whole thing. It's like, well, this, um, this coming week, it's going to be like Brad's favorite things and it's going to be like real. I don't even really know what he has prepared, but it's like just real stuff from a guy. Probably it's going to, I mean, most of it's probably going to be shameful. It's not going to be like, this cologne, this, 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 that, which he'll probably tell like some of his favorite things, but, um, be a small piece of the episode but if you're curious about that then that's great if you're watching this you probably are following along over there too so that's coming up um all right these I linked to and I can't say enough good things about these <laughs> they're $15 you know they are very very cute very comfortable if you buy like slippers a lot of times that are comfortable they lose the squish this one doesn't. I really love these. I also got them in black. They come in gray as well. But best $15 you're going to spend. And they come in very broad sizes, like 7 to 8, 9 to 10. You know what I mean? You're not going to go wrong buying someone a pair of nice slippers. So those are so cute. Um, let me kind of give you guys some book recs that would make amazing gifts. On our podcast, I've kind of done some book things here and there. We've kind of talked about books, reading, books that we like. And I know it's a whole thing. I've never done a video. I've done the whole breakdown on like literally a breakdown, a mental breakdown. Um, in my stories that time when I was going through my cabinet in the hallway, which is now like I put my gift wrap in it, but I was I kind of had like a little slot in there, like a little section that when I finish a book, I put it in there. So it's like my big section of books that I've read. And then I pass them on. If you want to see I mean, I don't even know what I would talk about, but just books that I like or ones that I would recommend, things that I've read maybe in this past year. That might be fun. I'll have to get, like, get my books back from Grandma because I pass them along to my grandma, so I'll have to be like, take a picture of the books that I sent you because I don't remember now what I'll, all I've read. But I think we all sometimes, like, underestimate, like, giving a book as a gift. For years, ever since I was, like, an adult to, that could, like, buy my grandma a gift for Christmas, I've always given her a book. So birthday's right at Christmas, so it's either for her birthday or for Christmas. Um, I'm always giving her a book. So I know she loves to read. I know who she likes to read. But I'm not really giving books to other people, and I think that's a mistake. We need to start doing that more. Now, this is a book that I really raved about this year that is so, I wouldn't say like giftable, but giving someone like a novel or like some random story like you know what I'm saying? You're like, well, I don't know if they'll enjoy this story or whatever, but ones that are kind of just funny, humorous, maybe even like a self-help book or, I mean, tread lightly with that because don't like offend anybody. Like, you need, here's a book on manners, you know what I mean? Like, um, <laughs> or how to be like a better this or that or whatever. No, no we don't want to do that. But you know what I'm saying, okay? You know, a book like this, I don't know, it's just kind of, I, I don't know, whatever. Give, give someone a cold book. Okay, I like that book. But these are the ones that I would really recommend, okay? Because like I said, giving someone like a not, all right, giving someone like a fiction, like a novel, is kind of tricky. I want to give someone something that's going to make them feel good and laugh. This book, if you haven't read it, you need to. If you have any one on your list, give it to them. Especially if they're a mother, oh my gosh. If not, still great, okay? It's called I'll Show Myself Out by Jesse Klein, Essays on Midlife and Motherhood. 
This book, I could not re wait to read it every night. It made me feel so good, made me laugh, made me feel um, seen as a mom. Very relatable, very funny. Loved. I'll show myself out. Um, Gary Gennetti's books, okay? I love Gary Gennetti. He is married to Brad Goreski, who... Brad Goreski was Rachel Zoe's assistant, but he was also, he's, you know, I mean, he's done, he does a lot of things, but he, um, he does all those, like, Lisa Renna impressions and stuff. Gary Gennetti is funny, okay? I think Gary Gennetti is, like, even funnier. He's, like, a full-on comedian. He had that account for years where he was just, like, pretending to be Prince George, and he still kind of does, like, a lot of funny things about the royals. Follow him on Instagram. He's so funny, Gary Gennetti. Um, he wrote on, I think, like, Will and Grace, and he was just, he's a writer, okay? This one, this one was my favorite. This, so this is, is the older one. Do you mind if I cancel is very good. It's, it's, do you mind if I cancel things that still annoy me? This is a good book to throw in to a gift. So, yeah, those two are good recs. But I, I really liked his latest one the best called Start Without Me. And, and these aren't like long books. I mean, you can read. These are the perfect, like, vacation. I don't want to say that. You know what? Anytime reads. But I read a book on vacation recently on our beach trip that was so heavy and I'll, not he like physically heavy, yeah. But it was just like, it's too much. Like I just want something light and fluffy and funny. Those are good. And like heart, they have a lot of heart. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, oh, this is another Jessie Klein book called You'll Grow Out of It. This was her first one, and then I'll Show Myself Out was her was the the most recent. This is number one. Okay, I'll Show Myself Out. Gotta get that. Um, Start Without Me by Gary Gennetti, and then You'll Grow Out of It was really funny. I don't know, about womanhood. Not This is before she had kids, I believe. And I don't want to make it about being a mom. There's a lot of mom stories in the other one, which is fucking hilarious. Um, if you're not a mom, you're going to enjoy it too. And then this one I really liked. It's um, The Wreckage of My Presence by Casey Wilson. Kind of the same vibe. You know, funny essays. Um, just kind of interesting to read. So books like that, throw in. Like, make your gifts fun and um what else you guys oh my gosh I, lo oh, I love so I love this so much now this okay let's talk about some electronics quickly okay this you guys y'all know I got this years and years ago it's my mark my Marshall Bluetooth speaker that looks kind of like retro and throwback um I linked to it several years ago the white got very hard to find then you can only find the black cute still but the white's really cute they have this one back now um, so this would make a beautiful gift. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but it's a very good one. Uh, really nice sound and just the most beautiful little piece of decor. Ow, oh my gosh, almost lit my sleeve on fire with this candle. Wow, 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 okay. No, not a big Um, that, oh, oh my gosh, I don't want to unplug my little turntable thing, but something I've enjoyed the last couple years, nothing better, has been having these little like record players, like, you know, my little Crosley turntable record player that I ended up finding at, um, I'll, I'll, I'll insert it. I'll just, I'll, I'll take a little thing and, and show it later. Um, I ended up finding this somewhere. It was a limited edition color. I think they might still have it. A lot of those look kind of clunky and like black or just kind of weird. I, I wanted one that looked pretty in here. I love that thing so much. I think it has like a Bluetooth component. You can run your records, your finals, whatever, through that. And then through the Bluetooth, I have those Sonos speakers. Nothing better when I was decorating the tree. When I'm in here, this is like my zone at night. I'll get in here, I'll read a magazine, I'll sit for just however long I can. I'll put on a show on my iPad or like put on a record. Like I have my grandma's, um, some of my grandma's, my grandfather's like old records, old Christmas albums, like just it's such a vibe it sounds just cozy and special and Olivia really got into it too last year you know when I first got that about a year ago and last year at Christmas she really wanted her own so I got her the one in her room which I will link to that's a great I think gift idea for kids her age when I was her age I had a little record player that I loved um but it's a Crosley, but it looks like a little suitcase. You know, it's those old school ones that look like a little suitcase. And so she has that one. It is so cute in her room. And I got her like 
you know, the Spice Girls vinyl and, you know, the Casey Musgraves vinyls. And there's some beautiful, like, I love now that people are kind of, I mean, I guess it's always been a thing, but especially now, like, people are really, like, back into those. And some of my very favorite ones, oh my, this is my number one of all time. This is my grandma's The Doris Day Christmas album. If you can find this anywhere, um, all these are like original ones that were hers, but, um, and my grandfather's, but this is the most beautiful Christmas music you'll ever hear. Even if you're like in your car and you just want something to listen to, like YouTube music this, or like however you get music, whatever, listen to this. It's beautiful. It's such a vibe. Uh, and then my friend got me this last year. It's really cute. The Gwen Stefani Christmas album. So cute. I just love the whole vibe of this one. Look at the absolute vibe of Dolly Parton. <sighs> These are just so fun, okay? But I'm not that, I don't know if that's a, I tried to listen to that one the other day. It was kind of cute, but I really like the Doris Day one. All those Christmas albums. There's just so many, okay? But how fun grab somebody like a you know a crosley little turntable they're not very expensive and then you know some current vinyls or things that they like but then go on ebay or just go on like i don't know somewhere and find some of those old ones it's so much fun um but i, I just think that's such a good idea something that we really love are our dyson fans we have a whole story about the Dyson fans that would just not stop coming. I ordered a few of them last year and they would not stop coming to the house. I guess sometimes I am like, did I talk about this on my video or was it the podcast? I think it was the podcast because we talk about like more family stuff and like the happenings on there. If you have a kid and they're trying to like sleep on their own, if it, whatever, the sound machines, the this and that, whatever, you need to get a Dyson fan. They are stupid expensive. Like I never could have like justified that, but I'm telling you. We, when we went to the beach, fully had like two Dyson fans in the back of the car. When we go on our trip here soon, I'm like, Brad, do we have to bring the Dyson fans? He's like, yes. So I don't know what we're ever going to do if we have to like fly somewhere anytime. So it will be like checking a Dyson fan. The sound is just like, whoo, ooh, like it purifies your air. You like step into the room where it's been running and you're just like, mm. you know, I walk into a room every morning and it feels fresh. Our room feels fresh. The sound is mesmerizing. Um, it may not be something that people would necessarily buy for themselves, and it is expensive, but if you're looking to drop a little more on somebody or you just want to get one really nice gift, Dyson fan, um, something that is really useful but it's a little on the less expensive end is a nice clock. Now, we have these iHome clocks in all of our rooms. I just bought it for Olivia at first. Uh, I want to say a couple years. I don't know. It's been a while for her room. Because, you know, when she was sleeping at night, I wanted her to be able to tell, like, what time. It, obviously, you wouldn't need a clock in your kid's room. I think the old clock she had was just not great. But I love this one. Um, you can really do a lot to adjust, like, the display and everything that it does. But it's basic. It's cute. It's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> and I loved her so much that we got one for our room. Because I can't tell you, Brad and I have not had a, an alarm clock, certainly, for years. Because we have our phones. And there's times when I'm like, you know, in the moment, I don't want to be looking over and always touching my phone to see what time it is. I just love this little clock and it doesn't glow bright. I mean, you'll see, it's kind of odd. It's almost like a fabric screen, but it looks like a little old alarm clock. It's so cute. Um, and those are fairly inexpensive. That would be a great gift to give anyone. I just, I love that clock so much. Um, the hatch clocks are cool. We have a bedroom in our basement that doesn't get really any light, and it's kind of um, jarring when people sleep down there. And so I got one of those like hatch alarm clocks, you know, that does like the sunrise and the this and that, and it has like the sounds and the noise, all that, and the sound machine made it. And that is a really nice alarm clock too. It's definitely a little spendier than the other one, but I will link to that. Finally, because I'm like, I wanted to check my list. One thing that I didn't mention, which kind of ties into all this at the end, are my Roomba robots. He lives, or Ramona lives over there. Dorenda is our upstairs robot. And we have like an old shark one in the basement, and I've been dying to, to get another one to put down there too. Because you really do need one for each floor, obviously, but they are life. I love my Roombas. Last Christmas, I gave... Christmas before last, I think I gave one to my sister, and she, like, really loves hers still. And, of course, you know, I mean, they're, they're amazing. Like, I, I love them. What's not to love? No one's going to, like, look at it and be like, I don't like that. You know, even if they already have one, like, put it somewhere else. Like, 
if someone gave me one, I'd be like, yes, I need one so bad. I want one for our basement. You know, I need another one. Um, so I need to just suck it up and buy one. But last year I showed the ones that I got for a few people on my list and I love those. They love those. They really had so much fun after Christmas, like, you know, playing with them and you know, I would get updates like, oh my gosh, look at my carpet. You're know, like, look how good it looks. And they've enjoyed theirs. So I think that's something just, you know, every time they use it, they're going to be like, this is amazing because there's nothing more satisfying than using like one of those vacuuming robots. It just makes me feel good to like, it just makes me feel good to give people things that I truly like. Obviously, I don't want to just get caught up. I see this every year in the silliness, the gifty gifts, and oh, just buy this because it's this, buy that because it's that. I really want to think of some thoughtful things. And I think these are kind of cool things. So definitely check out these different items. I have so many things coming up. Oh my gosh, so many fun holiday things coming up. Again, like I said, the house tour is going to come up soon. I love doing that every year. Follow our podcast. Brad is going to give all the recs this week. Um, actually, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. It could be bizarre. He could be like, I, go buy me some scratchers, which I know he's going to say that. Okay. But whatever. We're keeping it real. Okay. And then coming up, I think maybe my next video, it's going to be holiday gift guide, beauty related, all the beauty things. Oh my gosh, you guys, as you see, this video already went on pretty long, but I think this was good, like golden suggestions. And, um, and then we're going to kind of take it down and get more specific because you truly need to, I think, start thinking about this now. And, you know, everyone has a judgment of what's early, what early is too early for Christmas. If you have commented anything on this video about Thanksgiving, I don't want to hear it. But this time of year, back to what I was saying, you have to, I think, start thinking about just prepping or else, you know, then prepping your gifts, start buying things or else, yeah, you are going to be a ball of stress as we all are. I don't want to say we all because I do feel like this really makes my holidays more stress-free if I get my the majority of my gifts taken care of around this time, you know. I'm not waiting until the rush of the gift buying season that comes after Thanksgiving. And, you know, this time around the holidays is stressful enough and a lot of times, the people that are so adamant about putting everything off and, oh, you're doing this too early, are then the people that are, oh, I'm so busy during the holidays, I'm so stressed, blah, blah, blah. Like, let's kind of, let's adjust that a little. Let's make things less stressful. In the next video, we're going to focus on that too, because it could not be easier. It's just, just trust me, so many good recs, you guys, coming up in the next one. I'm so excited about the beauty stuff. Love you guys. Follow along, like I said, over the next couple weeks for lots of holiday stuff. And we're going to be documenting something this year that I've never done before. Um, just a lot of stuff coming up, okay? But I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, y'all.